So welcome to today's lesson on our PDE course. So today we are going to go through the general solution to the wave equation. Remember that we've already learned how to derive that. So today we are going to use it to solve questions. So when you have this wave equation here, we derive that the general solution to our wave equation is given by this function here. So our u of x t equals f of x plus c t plus j of x minus c t. So we are going to use this concept to solve some two examples. So this is our example. It says find the general solution to the following wave equation. So we have this and we have that. So it is very simple to find the general solution to the wave equation. <coughs> so solution. So let's quickly take our question one. So the question one, we have u t t minus nine u x x equals zero. But remember, we said our wave equation can be written as u t t equals c squared u x x or u t t minus c squared u x x equals zero. So making comparison. Then it means that here our c squared because this can be written as utt equals 9 uxx and making comparison that means our c squared is equal to 9 so our c is equal to 3 or it can be negative 3 too but mostly we take the positive value so that means that our Solution. You remember that with this particular wave equation, the solution is u of x t equals f of x plus c t, then plus g of x minus c t. So here that means that our general solution for this wave equation is going to be u of x t equal to f of x plus 3 t, then plus g of x minus c t. I hope you understand. So very simple. Um, our c here is 3. Alright, so I said mostly we take 3, but someone can ask, what if we take negative 3? So when you take negative 3, that's c equals negative 3. You're going to get u of x t equal to f of x minus 3t plus g of x plus 3t. And note that this is the same as this because our f and j are just arbitrary functions. I hope you get that. So that's how to solve this question one. So this is the general solution to this wave equation we have here. So let's take our second question. With our second question, we have 4 u t t equals u x x. So remember that our wave equation is of the form u t t equals c squared u x x. So that means the coefficient of our u t t is 1. So we have to make sure the coefficient here is 1. So the only way to do that is to divide you by 4. So when you do that, you will get u t t equal to 1 over 4, then u x x. So here, we have c squared is equal to 1 over 4. That means that c will be equal to plus or minus 1 over 2. So when you take any of them, positive or negative, you get the same answer. So you mostly take the positive one. So then we are going to get our u of x t equal to f of x plus 1 over 2 t then plus g of x minus 1 over 2 t and this becomes uh, the general solution to this particular wave equation so mostly when your wave equation doesn't have um initial conditions finding the general solution is very simple so in our next video we are going to talk about when we have initial value problems so when you have initial value problems, how do you use the wave equation? So that's going to be the application of the D'Alembert formula. So thank you very much.